Hello. Hello. I was just sending you the link just in case you didn't have it. Oh, for fuck's sake, you think I'm completely incapable? Good morning. I'm just trying to be a good uh, good neighbor. <laughs> I have I have both links in my uh, calendar. So I just, I just, it's always, it's always in the morning. It's like one of them is pink. One of them is yellow. One of them is mine. One of the happy 50th episode. That's right. Milestone one, day. You, one, you have too much time on your hands to, to, to be so creative. Two, <laughs> freaking amazing. I know. This is a, this is the first day of the rest of our lives. Oh, I hope so, because I'm, I'm coming into this meeting and pretty feeling down. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, uh, I've uh, paused my SLO because I basically spend another 100 bucks with zero results. Yeah. Um, so I've reconsidered that. Um, we'll, work, we'll work through the... Um, thank you. Just this year. Wow, that's service. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, great, it's great when you have uh, your parents stay with you. Old habits kick in for them. Uh, yeah. Old habits kick in for me doing just shit. Anyway, um, yeah, it's. I'll get I'll get the I'll get the course the uh, what's it called the course creator. I still haven't come up with a fancy name for it. Yeah. But I'll come up with that uh, for sure because um, I don't know. It, it feels feels right and feels something that uh, I could have probably used. I don't know. I had a conversation on the weekend. I'm going to just hijack this whole this whole meeting, as I always do. Why should the 50th be you know, episode be any different than the first 49? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I had a conversation with a gentleman on the weekend, and he was saying, like, would you, um, like, you're thinking that this service is required, but is it required? Like, if you're, if you're building a course, wouldn't your first instinct be to go to Thinkific? And um, we kind of talked through that because he was coming in. He was he's he is not from this uh, like this. He is he's not from this industry. He's never yeah. thought about this. So he was hearing an idea for the first time. Which and I like people like that because it, it's uh, um, unbiased view. Yeah. And so we we kind of talked through that, and I was thinking to myself, well, yeah, most likely people are going to go to what they've been primed to look at such as those big platforms udemy thinkific teachable i mean they claim that they are the course creators platforms yeah. little that they know that there's so much more going after and so i thought to myself so it's it's probably my targeting is going to be off just it's it's not it's not precise so the way the way around it, the only way around it, or at least as much as I uh, as much as I had time to think about this, is to, um, in my opinion, go after the course creator geek. So you, me, like people people who actually uh, research stuff before jumping in. Well, probably more me than you, but hey, just splitting hairs there. I didn't have to do any research. I had somebody on my staff do it. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> but that's 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 sort of where I'm going. I'm going uh, with this is that it. I may be fooling myself into thinking that everyone's going to listen to the message I have to relay because they might not even understand the problem yeah especially at the outset yeah it's, it's an interesting discussion because you know like i've been doing this now for what five months yeah i've never once looked at thinkific and that's fact, because you talk to me in fact this might be oh. the, the first time i've actually said the word um how did you find kajabi Uh, well, it's interesting because it's like, so, um, you know, the, my realm of knowledge on the subject was very limited when, when you reached out to me in November, because I'd done e-learning at, at uh, yes, at Presima and the tools we'd use there were articulate and, um, 
and there's a few other tools I don't know that I'd been familiar with from researching it back then. Yeah. Um, but like you, you, you came on the scene, you said, Oh, here, let me shoot you a few videos. And it was like, um, the Grumo video and uh, the guy from uh, New Zealand, uh, thrive themes that yep. him and, uh, you know, a few oh. others. So, so, the, you know, and there, there, it was like talking about those programs, um, Udemy was the the thing. So like, I looked that up. Mm -hmm. Of course, those those folks, or at least what I'd seen, were kind of like the the limitation of Udemy was that it's it's a low price, high volume thing. Like you're gonna, like the the one guy, I think it was the Thrive Themes guy. He does a lot of Photoshop courses. Well, he sells his own course for whatever two hundred dollars, and on Udemy it sells for nine ninety nine. Yes. Um. So like I dismissed Udemy right out of the gate because it's like. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna spend all this time and effort doing something that I'm only gonna sell for 10 bucks. Um, even though like maybe maybe I'd be further ahead if I'd sold a thousand things at 10 bucks than selling, you know, 10 things at 100 or 200 or whatever. So, mm -hmm. um, but even like, if you think about Camtasia, like I didn't do like lots of research on any software. Like I was familiar with things I'd used in the past, like iMovie and, Pinnacle Studio and Sony Vegas Studio and di different things from the past. And then just watching those few videos with Grumo or whatever, it's like Camtasia and you look it up and you're like, yeah, this looks pretty good. And you're off to the races. So anyway, the, the, the whole thing comes back to me. One of the other things I was listening to on the weekend was just a, a refresher on kind of that comment I was trying to find in the app the other day about, yep. I was in line at Starbucks and the person in front of me was your ideal customer. How would I know they were the perfect customer for you? What would they be saying or talking about that would let me know that they were your perfect customer? So yep. it's kind of like, there's all kinds of people out there, like the person you talked to on the weekend who, so the, the question to me is like, is he your perfect customer? Is that who you're targeting? No. Or is it somebody? He's, not, he's not even a customer. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But that, that's what I mean. It's, it's just like, like everyone's got an opinion or purview in there it's not that their opinion is wrong it's just their opinion right it's so just, it's, it's just an opinion yeah so it's like okay so who as you're building this out like who is that wet dream customer that you're you're targeting this to so is is it somebody who has done some research and has some knowledge about what's out there or is it somebody who just has an idea that like yeah i heard about this online course thing maybe i could do that but they have really have no other knowledge I, you know what I mean like you can define um you know it's, it's almost like analogous to your nailing your niche thing right it's it's like how do you define very specific terms who it is is your target audience actually that's true it's it's it's, it's very much what I was talking about yeah. oh shit it was where it was what I was talking about <laughs> I'm, I'm not discounting what he's saying, like, um, but, you know, yes, there's going to be plenty of people out there who have heard of Thinkific and think it's the way to go. There's going to be people who've heard of Kajabi. There's going to be people who haven't heard of anything. Um, I don't know. I, I keep going back in my own head to, to Jamie's five question thing, which is like, what is it that they want? Um, can you help them with that? Uh, yep. What's it going to take to help them with that? Do you want to help them with that? And how much would you have to charge to be delighted with doing it? And it's like, it, it's applicable. That model is applicable in coaching, but I, I'm thinking it's applicable to any of these decisions about what you want to build and sell and stuff. It's like, who, who do you want to work with? What is it that they want? Can you help them with it? Mm -hmm. What's it going to take to help them? Uh, do you want to do that? Like once you've kind of thought it all through, it's like, do I actually want to spend the time and energy doing this? And then if I do, how much do I need to charge to make it worth my while? And then I suppose after that is like, you know, can I get that value so that it will work? It's, um, feels very logical. Yeah. So what you're saying is like, uh, Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Yeah. I honestly, like I, I, I had an amazing weekend. 
Oh, and uh, cool. Um, and it started with the, the with the notion that this was our fiftieth episode today, which is ironic because the only reason today is the fiftieth episode is because we missed the episode a week ago or whatever on the Wednesday because yes, yes, of well, whatever. And then that's and that's counting from the day that uh, that idea came up. Yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly. Important. So. But it, it just to me, it was like suited that Monday is the fiftieth. Like it just it it makes it just feels a lot better than if it was Friday. Why? Like, well, just because I always looked at Mondays as like the start, and Fridays is the end of, of a week, right? Like it's that's it's true. Just, it's just a natural kind of launching launch pad. Um, so the way I looked at it is like I had this idea that you know what. Up until now, like the first 50 episodes of this journey has been tinkering and learning and trying things and whatever. And now we're at 50 and now it's the start. Like it's a new, it's a new start. It's like, okay, I'm in way better position now than I am, than I was 50 episodes ago, just for the, the sake of a terminology, right? So like over the weekend, I was like, you know what? I'm relaunching everything that I've done um i started building my a new leadership for teens page i was using copy ai stuff that i'd copied before um i reached out to everyone that's on the course and asked them for testimonials from both the parent and the student um yeah so some of those have started funneling in really I, yeah that's, that's excellent i uh um i finished my leadership for retail managers course so that course is completely done and I have a call at one o'clock to talk to my friend about um, the launch of that because I, I wanted to pick her brain on kind of all the research questions that I have for my course with Jamie about your audience. So what, what's real for them? What are the conversations they're having in their head? What are the problems that keep them up at night? So we're going to have that conversation at one o'clock so I can get from her as a small business owner what and she and i have the benefit too of she's already been through like three quarters of the course so i'm mm -hmm. also going to get from her what is it that she's getting out of the course so far and what does she how does she see that tr translating into uh positive actions with her team even though they haven't taken it yet but i'm sure she already has ideas of how this is going to play out yeah so so i'm going to have a lot of good information coming out of that call um, I listened to a whole bunch of uh, both. I think it was both Friday night and Saturday night. Like I sat in the backyard with my headphones on and just listened to like an hour and a half of Jamie smart content and, uh, was like totally zoned out and relaxed. And anyway, Saturday night, I went to bed at 1115 and I think I might've fallen asleep around four in the morning. Why? I, I was just coming up with like idea after idea after idea of recording voice memos on my phone like i'd be like holy fuck this is a great idea <laughs> so hit me hit me with some of them so um one some of them are, are relaunching my stuff so for my interview simulator yep i'm relaunching it i i realized too like fuck there's i think on uh friday in the news i heard there's something like seven million jobs job openings in the states right now like there's lots and lots of people without jobs and there's lots of jobs for people to be interviewed for like there's lots of interviewing going on like probably more interviewing going on now than ever yeah. in the history of mankind <laughs> um so there's there's definitely so anyway the angle i'm taking is i'm going to do a five-day challenge for interview simulator so i'm going to okay. pay paid ads for it the Basically, they can click on a link in the ad to go to a web page, which is the day one challenge. And it'll have two, it'll have a video, which I'm, I'm reusing content that I had just repacking it a little bit. One, the first video is how do you fill out the, um, your career template, career accomplishment template. Mm -hmm. So that you can re kind of in your mind, just get a, a good sense for, for timeline and what you've accomplished through all your jobs. And then the second video is the day one challenge, which is um, two of the top 10 interview questions narrated by female and male. So it's, you know, it's about a minute long, the questions, and then they get to practice those questions for a day, then day, then they can sign up if they like day one, then they can sign up. And then every day they'll get an email for day two, three, four and five challenge. 
and then hopefully at the end they like it they they can appreciate that their interview they're more prepared for interviews after the five day challenge than they otherwise would have been and therefore yep. they're going to be inclined to give me twenty dollars to buy the rest of the questions so that's interview simulator i, I gotta build the web pages for it but I, i've already reorganized the uh the old videos i had in camtasia to, and produced day one and day two videos already so I'm, uh, that'll be going out today and how are you going to promote that well, i'm going to buy ads on uh, facebook yeah um and i'm going to target certain age groups um and i got to figure out you know what interests people would be looking at um I, so i got to spend a little bit of time figuring out the audience but um like i said i, I think if i if i if i can define the audience correctly and get it out there then the other thing that i was looking at all my web pages and just for my google ads and stuff that i'd done in the past and whatever like my my interview simulator page had 2300 visits to it 2300 visits. yeah now i haven't i only converted like i don't know 10 or 15 people to the free version and of those 10 or 15 people, most of them didn't even use it. Um, but I, it just, it, again, it just re-energized me going like, fuck, I had 2000 people that I just didn't convert for whatever reason, but I know that, so I, so I, I'm confirmed in my mind that there's interest, like there, there's something here. I just, and that's why I think this challenge might be like, before I was doing, I had the demo and I had the free version, mm -hmm. but I, I I just feel like, and I'd just gone through a 10 day challenge leadership challenge with one of the people on my course that he set up, um, that he, he just set, sent it to me free. He was, he bought it on PLR and he was selling it for nine ninety five pounds because he's in the yeah. UK. Um, and he sold a few of them, but it just, I don't know, just that the idea of having that challenge, I was going to do a 10 day challenge and I thought, you know, 10, 10 days is too long. It's, it's, so that's why I've, I've taken 10 questions and reduced it into five days. So they get two questions each day and, uh, and there'll be a call to action each day, um, that they can, you know, sign up for the full course. This is, this is done, done through email, right? Yeah. Well, there'll be a, uh, an ad that sends them to a page yeah. to do the first day's challenge. And then that's then they're gonna sign up for the the remainder of the challenge there. Um, I mean, I, I, that's one path. The other path is getting to sign up right in Facebook with the form, like the whole uh, ad form. But I haven't decided if I if I want to do an actual real ad or if I'm just gonna do it as a, a, a posted a boost on my post, which then doesn't have the form. Because I seem to like I've been boosting a bunch of things in the last couple of weeks. And I'm getting like 800 to a thousand views and quite, you know, hundreds of clicks. Impressions. And, and, You're getting impressions. Yeah, I know I'm getting view. impressions. Yeah. Anyway, long story short, I'm, I'm, I'm on a path to, to relaunching that. I'm half done my page for the leadership for retail manager or mm -hmm. for uh, leadership for teens relaunch. I'm just waiting for the, all my testimonials to come in. So those, that the relaunch was some of my big ideas. Then I had, um, I had app ideas. So slow clap. <laughs> this is how you end the episode. You, you just do this and everyone's like, what was in the middle? Yeah. And if you were on WordPress and not on Kajabi, I could have shown you an app like Presto Player has when the video plays and then uh, it, it's, it pauses and you have the sign in window yeah. when you have to sign in and get on the mailing list. Yeah. Don't, well, you can do skip, but you can't, that's, I'm just rubbing it in your face. Fiftieth episode turned out to be a very, very interesting one. That's right. I told you this is an inflection point in our. Uh... See, I'm, 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 I'm blabbering a lot, but Greg's, Greg's ideas are freaking gold. Cool. Mm -hmm. 
This is a insights and realizations, the parody of the power of clarity. Yeah. Right, I got to run because I got to use yeah. the yeah, yeah, facilities. Cool. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Well, you made my, I, I can tell you one thing, you made my Monday better. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Indeed. All right, see ya.